What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and I am here today with the review for Love & Hip Hop Atlanta Season 11, Episode 2. The episode was titled Straight Out of Excuses, you guys. So before we jump into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning your post notifications on, and sharing the video. And with that out of the way, you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, shall we? All right, you guys, so we are going to just go down the line of my notes real quick. And this might not, this ain't, ain't going to be a long review. So we see Scrappy. So Scrappy, like I said in last week's live, Scrappy is still doing tours and, you know, performing music. Again, this is going to be shade you doing all of this but the bills at your house with your wife and your kids were not paid so what are you doing with your money sir what are you doing with your money from the tours you doing and what are you doing with your money from this show because again your wife and kid your family had to move out of the house because you weren't paying your bills please make that make sense scrappy and then what really blew me with Scrappy in this in this scene was you hear him and he's talking to the producers and he's trying to bl he's trying to place blame on Bambi. Now, again, is Bambi somebody that's a favorite of mine? Not really. But I don't know how Scrappy can fix his lips, his mouth, anything to try to place any kind of blame on Bambi. Like I was like, where is this coming from, right? So then we see Diamond. So Diamond made her appearance on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I was like, wow, girl. Love and Hip Hop. Yep, never mind. Because I, I about to say, my, how the mighty. Well, she, I mean, she did grow up hip hop. So she's, so she's not new to reality TV. She's done reality TV. But on growing up hip hop, she was very n neutral. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because I don't know how people are going to feel about you. And this whole storyline with Scrappy, Scrappy and Bambi. I don't think it's going to pan out too well. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments section below. And we'll pause here and move forward, shall we? All right, you guys. So next up, we got Shekinah. So Shekinah went to go see Spice, who's, you know, who's moved into her new home. And, you know, they are talking to each other. So, you know, Shekinah's letting us know that she's been reaching out to Spice but Spice hasn't been accepting her phone calls or her text messages, right? Now, when she kind of walked into that house and called Spice a bitch, I was like, wow. So you walk into this woman's house and just immediately call her a bitch. And even Spice was like, girl, you not even five seconds into my house and you already calling me out my name, right? So Spice is upset with Shekinah because Shekinah didn't come to the Dominican Republic when, you know, Spice had her, um, her you know, her health scare, right? With um, the sepsis and everything, right? So let Shekinah tell it she was going she wanted to go to see Spice but Mita then tells her Spice to her, tell her where Spice was right the only person that she really told was Carly and that's because you know Mita and Carly have now become friends with each other right now you guys can take whatever you can take that however you want to take it I don't know nothing about these people I know about Mita from last season and that storyline that you know she and Jock had been messing with each other and I think I, I wonder for me personally like I wonder if that's what m was the connection between she and Carly becoming friends with each other because that's really what it is given right so Shekinah and um Spice made up with each other right so then the next scene that we got with Spice we see Spice and she is going down to a dance you know do dance rehearsals right and I was like ma'am I don't know if this is a good idea because you said you still have scars and wounds and everything so is that a good idea to be doing out and then y'all know how spice is when she dances she do all that heavy ass dancing and, and flipping and stuff i'm like girl you might pop a stitch or whatever but okay spice i have no issue with it right so spice has a show that she's you know getting ready to um go and perform at right so shekinah and another friend of theirs they were there and they just said they were saying what i just said like ma'am you are just on recovery and now you want to do all of this no so spice got upset with them and i'm like you upset with them 
because they're looking out for your health. I was like, okay, Spice. I mean, I, I, if it makes sense to your head, Grace, it makes sense, right? So we then see another scene with this friend that was with that was down there at the studio, right? So this friend is basically saying the same thing that Shekinah said previously about Mita. So they feel like Mita is well. The friend actually feels like she and Shekinah are the wrong people to be mad at about this whole. Okay. So, Shekinah and Mita. Sorry, you guys. My friend was texting me. So, what happened? What was I talking about? Oh, so yeah, they were talking about the fact that um. They were talking about the fact that. Now I was actually confused to be quite honest with you, listening to this conversation, because the friend was talking about the fact that Mita was the one who was making all the phone calls and you know going to the talking to the blogs now what i will say that i remember from when that happened is they weren't really they were just saying that you know something happened with spice but they were not saying what happened with spice because you guys remember at one point there was the rumor out there that spice had well it's not a rumor one point they were saying that spice had died right so but after that somebody came out and said no she wasn't she didn't die so it was a lot of it was a lot of misinformation so I don't understand what this friend was saying but ultimately she's trying to put it all on Mita and because she said Mita was the one that was leaking stuff to the blogs and she also did say that Spice should be focusing on um, the fo the focus mostly should have been on Spice and not you know this whole situation this whole ordeal right and I get what she's saying I do and then, you know, once again, they're talking about Carly. And I'm like, okay, where does Carly fit into this? Now, they explain where Carly fit into this, right? So, I didn't finish the family reunion. I didn't finish the last episode of the family reunion, right? But from what I remember from the family reunion, Spice and Carly were on very good terms with each other, right? So, they've had issues. They have issues from the um, family reunion when... Carly threw a party for Spice and you know Spice says she now see here's the thing Spice says she's heard these things so did you physically hear Carly say these things out of her mouth is the question if you didn't hear Carly say them out of her mouth then I would take things that people bring to you with a grain of salt you know what I'm saying but let's pause here and move forward all right you guys so next up we see chaotic so chaotic is having a listening party for his album right so mama D was there we were introduced to a new girl, Amy Luciani. Very beautiful girl, by the way. Beautiful. Um, Erica Banks was there. Scrappy was there. That cornball safari showed up. It's just like, oh my God. Can I stop looking at this man, right? So, Mama D was talking to Amy Luciani and Chaotic, right? She's talking about Scrappy and Bambi. And, you know, she said in her interview with the producer, she loves Bambi as a human, but she can't stand that bitch. I was like, oh my God, Mama D. But I think we know him for years that you can't stand the Bam and her hooves, right? So, Mama D is talking about how she's backed, you know, she's backed away from their marriage. I'm like, have you really, Mama D? Have you really? Because even when she said that, the producer started showing all the things that Mama D has said on social media. And let's not even forget, like, a few months ago, Mama D was in the Shade Room comments, commenting on stuff about Bambi. Like, you, Mama D was at, in the Shade Room comments. Mama D, when she was, um, when she went to Shade's baby shower, like, Mama D, you're not, you ain't let this shit go. You just pick and choose what you say. The last thing that, the last thing that Mama D chimed in on, I was in agreement with that whole situation with Erica, E Money, and um the Bam. I was in agreement with Mama D. I agree with everything that Mama D said because Bambi was wrong. I wonder if we're gonna see that play out this season. I feel like we are. So she then goes on further and tells them that Diamond may have missed her period. So now we're gonna allude that Scrappy has been having an extramarital of, of extramarital affair on his wife 
Okay, and may have a baby on the way. Okay, I guess, right? So, um, Erica and Amy were introduced to each other, and they really hit it off with each other, right? So, Amy tells Erica that she had this song previously, and that Rennie Rucci stole her song. I was like, oh. So, everybody, so the new girls are going to have issues with Rennie Rucci, I see. Because y'all did see in the trailer that Erica Banks got a drink tossed in her face by Rennie. So, Amy's going to have an issue with, okay. I guess. Let me know what you guys thought about that party in the comments below. We're going to pause here and move forward. I heard you guys some next up Bambi. So Bambi is out in LA. She found a house out there. I think she's renting a house. Oh my God. Now in LA, I'm okay with your renting, but damn Atlanta. I just still think back to that, that y'all have been in that house and y'all didn't own it. I mean, I know home ownership is not a fair everybody, right? So I'm not saying that they should have owned a home, but damn. Okay. So she's doing a video shoot and I was like, uh, say what now for a song? Bambi and rapping, I don't want to hear it. Bambi and that shimmer hair, I don't want to see it. No shade to her, right? So Sierra is there, and so Sierra is there to, you know, be in the video and, you know, support uh, her girl Bambi. One thing I will say about that that trio, Sierra, Bambi, Erica, there were, hmm, how do I say this tonight? They're not the cause of their relationship, their, their relationships ending, but I feel like each one of them get in each other's ears about their guys, right? I feel like Erica got my maybe have gotten in Bambi's ear, and Sierra might have gotten in Bambi's ear about Scrappy, vice versa. You know, Sierra gets in Erica's ear about Safari. I, I feel that's how I feel. You guys can let me know what you think, and it's okay if you guys disagree with me. So, Sierra. Hun Eric, they got engaged last season, but now she can't stand Eric, and Eric has an issue with her daughter. I was like, Sierra, this sounds like a storyline, my love. It really, it reeks of a storyline, but okay. So, she's talking about how he's jealous and very possessive, right? And that he calls her bitches and hoes around the house in front of her kids. I'm like, ma'am, if that man calls you a bitch and a hoe in front of your children, I think you need to do what's best for you and your kids and leave that nigga. So she told Bambi that she is planning to leave him. I'm like, good. So Sierra got back home and, you know, Eric came downstairs. So Eric feels like when it comes to Sierra, he is bot bottom on the totem pole, right? Like he feels like her kids come before him, which they should. Those are her kids. Her family comes before him. Now that can be flipped. It should be her kids, her husband, her family, or her kids her husband, her, her career, her family. Her family should not come before her husband, but her, her kids definitely should. Those are her kids. So when he was talking about her kids, I was like, sir. Then I was looking at Eric. I'm like, Eric's ears are very pointy. Eric got some big ass ears. So they got into it. I'ma always be Sierra Marie Gates. Gates, that's your ex-husband's last name. I wasn't really offended. Sorry, you guys, but I really wasn't paying that much attention because I didn't know what they were arguing about. Like, I was thoroughly confused. Like, what are we arguing about here? So, we're going to pause here and wrap up this episode, you guys, shall we? All right, you guys, so Amy is um, getting ready. She's doing a performance at South by Southwest. So, if you guys don't know, South by Southwest is a festival, a film festival here. It's a, well, actually, it's not just a film festival now. It used to be just a, but it's a, Big, huge festival here in Texas down in Austin, right? So she is going to be performing for the first time. So she called Erica Banks down to the studio and Erica, she wanted Erica's opinion, right? I will say the things that I've saw about Erica Banks in the blogs, she doesn't, she didn't seem like a girl's girl, like the way she was coming at Megan Thee Stallion and she did not know Meg. I didn't, I didn't rock with her because of that, <clears throat> Because why would you chime in on something that you know nothing about, right? But, like I said, her and um, Amy really hit it off with each other, right? So, Amy tells her that, you know, she has not performed in quite a while. And we see, she tells her also that she has some issues within her family. Now, here's the thing that I will say. Although, I think Amy is very beautiful. And I think she's a, I think she 
could be you know a talented girl from what i heard right what i did not like was with amy was when amy decided that she wanted to tell erica the situation that mama d told them about bambi not bambi but scrappy and diamond and her potentially being pregnant i was like erica not erica but amy how does that affect your life what does that have any how does that have any bearing on your life why like come on now sis come on i just didn't understand that but that's the episode you guys let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on and share the video you guys until the next time stay safe take care of yourselves wash your hands be blessed and i'll see you guys later so i gotta get back up to the desk and i'm supposed to be live at 2 30 today for married at first sight and next tuesday we will be back live with the review for love and hip hop and land you guys but until the next time, like I said, stay safe out there, you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I also got to do watch Sisters and the Real Housewives of Orange County. Catch you guys later. Bye.